Television CK, YouTube, Musha, Musco Clive, and I is added here. YouTube, Musha, Musco Close Rise, Musco Slice, and you feel what you are logo. I'm going to watch again, get it. Mofia, oh, logo. Hello, guys, and welcome to yet another video on Television CK. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please be sure to do so and hit the notifications button. Also, don't forget to check out our page for more exclusive content. Alright, so remember a couple of days ago, Samini posted a video where he was fuming at the headmaster of Ebenezer Senior High School for sacking him from the school because of his dreadlocks. According to Samini, after he had gone through all the processes to have an interactive session with both the students and the teachers of the school, the headmaster prevented him because of his raster. Samini said the motive of the visit was to have a chat with the youth of the school on how important it is to take their education seriously and also educate them on the issues concerning the creative arts industry. He also said the visit was part of the activities towards the build-up of his annual Samini Fest concert. However, despite his motives, the headmaster claimed that his dreadlocks made him unfit to speak to the students, hence driving him away. New to comment on this issue is veteran high-life artist Kojo Enki, who says it's a shame that Samini had to go through that. Kojo Entry also wears his hair in a dreadlock, so it was easy for him to relate to what Samini had to go through. In fact, he shared that back in the day when he had released about one or two albums, his videos were not played on a particular network because they refused to play videos of Ghanaian artists who had done dreadlocks. However, they played songs of Jamaican artists who had dreadlocks, so that didn't make any sense. This is exactly what Kojo Entry said. It's a shame, that's all I can say. Even when I released my first, second, third album, we had this only one network and they would not play a video of a Ghanaian wearing locks, even though they were playing videos of Jamaicans wearing the same hairstyle. That's a battle I've been fighting since. It's a big shame. And of course, I agree with Kojo Entry, it is indeed a big shame that a channel or a network refused to play songs of Ghanaian artists because of dreadlocks, but will happily play that of a Jamaican artist. What do you think, guys? Should dreadlocks, looks or physical appearance in general of an artist or a public figure prevent him from being able to impart his knowledge in the youth? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. 